On this day, 200 years ago, humanity got its first dinosaur. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and specifically, humanity got the first name of a dinosaur, and that dinosaur would be Megalosaurus. In terms of paleontology, this couldn't be understated as such a massive moment in history because this basically kickstarted the study and discovery of all prehistoric life, specifically the dinosaurs. Megalosaurus's history is kind of all over the place. It's pretty wild because at the time, dinosaurs didn't even exist in the collective mind of the world's population, specifically in Europe. In fact, after Megalosaurus was officially described as its own genus, we didn't even know exactly what it looked like and what they thought it looked like back then isn't at all of what we understand it looked like today. But to talk about that, we got to do a quick history dive into the study surrounding Megalosaurus because, like I said, it's pretty wild. Megalosaurus has the title of being the first of a lot of things, including the first non-avian dinosaur officially described in scientific literature. In 1676, a part of a bone was unearthed in a limestone quarry in Oxfordshire. The fragment was given to Robert Plott, the professor of chemistry at the University of Oxford, where he would go on to publish and illustrate this fragment in his Natural History of Oxfordshire book later that year. He correctly identified it as being the lower part of a femur of an animal larger than any other animal existing in England at the time, and he thought that it belonged to either a Roman war elephant or even a biblical giant. And while the bone itself has since been lost to time, the illustration of the fragment is so well done that it's been attributed to Megalosaurus now. Because of this, it's also believed that Megalosaurus was potentially the first dinosaur ever given a scientific name. The illustration of the bone was used again in 1763 in a book written by Richard Brooks, who captioned it Scrotum Humanum, apparently attributing it to the likeness of a pair of human testicles. It wasn't until February 20th of 1824 that Megalosaurus was officially described. William Buckland had acquired a series of fossils from the Stonesfield Quarry, the same quarry that that previous femur fragment was discovered in. At first, Buckland wasn't even sure what he was looking at in these fossils. It wasn't until George Cuvier visited Buckland at Oxford that they were able to figure out that it was in fact a large lizard-like animal. And that was in 1822. It wasn't until February 20th of 1824 that Buckland officially announced the description of Megalosaurus, giving it that name, meaning huge lizard. Of course, back then, they thought Megalosaurus looked so different than what it actually looked like. Because of the unknown factor regarding dinosaurs, including Megalosaurus, Buckland thought that this was effectively just a giant elephant-sized lizard, and they illustrated illustrated it as such. Megalosaurus was described as an elephant-sized quadruped with its tail dragging along the ground and a big crocodile-like head and just a big bulky looking thing. In reality, Megalosaurus was a 20-foot bipedal agile predator that lived during the Mid-Jurassic period in what is now England. Quite a huge difference, obviously, but the description of Megalosaurus back then was the only description of a extinct dinosaur that we had. And despite the fact that we now know that Buckland's official description of Megalosaurus was widely inaccurate, it was still incredibly important at the time. This was the first step for not just Europe, but the whole world to recognize that Megalosaurus and others like it were true living creatures of the ancient past. So happy 200th anniversary to Megalosaurus, the world's first described dinosaur.